This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Hey, my loves. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Wherever you are, I hope you are doing awesome. And I hope that the world is treating you as good as it can right now, honey. So, I am excited because today I am bringing you a product review, honey. And it is from the, of course, fabulous Born Pretty. And it is their Born Pretty Gel Remover. So, it's say it right there, you see? So, I reached out, they reached out to me with this. So, I was like, of course, I'll, you know, I'll check it out. So, um, it comes in a 15 ml bottle. Now, it does say gel nail polish on the box. And the box does actually have directions for um, the gel polish and all that information. So, I was like, that's weird. Uh, it does say gel remover on this side with the ingredients. Um, but it didn't have really instructions or anything. So, I did reach out to um, my rep, Cynthia, who's awesome. And she forwarded me the directions for how to use this the appropriate way. Because I didn't want to misuse it. Um, and she did provide me with that information so let me see if i can pull it up for y'all all right so for this these are the directions that i was forwarded by the rep at born pretty so you do have to fully file the nail surface till it appears matte you apply a thick layer of peel off liquid tape or um, some sort of a liquid latex that would protect your skin around the nail. Then you apply an appropriate amount of a gel remover on the nails. Wait three to five minutes and you'll see that it will begin to burst. Um, and then we remove the, the burst gel with, uh, looks like the little, uh, a little metal tool, a little scraper. And then you tear off the liquid tape and apply cuticle oil. So we are going to follow these directions. Uh, first, let's do a little Kiss Kiss unboxing. So I figure I'm going to use them on these. I've had these on for, I think, like two weeks. So, you know, they've grown in a little. So um, I figured, you know, it might be time. So, I figure let's do it. Let's dip it and do it. I miss Wendy Williams, y'all. I know she was messy, but child, I miss that dip it and do it. I hope she's okay. If anybody, in, you know, is a subscriber and, you know, knows how you do it, Wendy Williams, send positive thoughts to her. I hope she's doing well, but all right. So here is the beautiful bottle. I love it. It's actually the same type of bottle as the new upgraded top and base coat. So that's awesome. It says functional gel, but it does say magic gel remover on the bottle cap and magic gel remover there on that green strip. All right, so the bottle does not have the directions on it either. So she did say that, you know, they're going to look into adding it because I did, I told her, I was like, you know, a lot, I see videos and I agree with those videos that, um, a lot of people don't necessarily go on the Amazon website or go on here. You know, it's more convenient to have the directions on the bottles. So they said they'll might look into that for the future. So that would be awesome. So I have, uh... A liquid peel off latex tape skin barrier for nail art this is from another brand so uh, I'm just going to apply it this is apply a thin latex around your nail of each finger and air dry for 60 to 100 seconds all right 
So let's go ahead and do that. I've done this in so long. I haven't applied liquid latex. I did. I got this bottle when I first started doing nails because I was like, I know I'm not gonna be able to control polish and stuff like that. So let me buy it and I'm gonna use it every time. <laughs> I've used this maybe once before <laughs> when I first got it, but nothing after. All right, so that's good, I'm one. I'll be back and I'm gonna do the rest. All right, so I've applied the liquid tape or the liquid latex. Still drying a little bit, but then once I was applying it, I was like, crap. <laughs> I was sitting here literally reading the instructions just now, y'all. And I skipped the first step of filing the nail surface. <laughs> so, um, give me one second. Move that aside. Let me grab this real quick. I'm gonna just file the top and get that off. All right, so it does say on the directions to just file off until there's a matte finish. Um, I was trying to use this hand file, but you know, it was, wasn't working that great. All right, so y'all saw I had to bring out the heavy artillery a little bit. But I'm not going very fast. I'm going at about maybe 7,000 RPM and just trying to file off the top coat to till it's matte, like I said. All right, so I am done doing the buffing it said buff it to till it appears matte so you know i didn't want to do too much work even though i had i used the e-file because the hand file and me were not working so um i filed them till they're at least probably got rid of most of the top coat um so let's see we're gonna apply a generous amount it doesn't it don't say to shake it but i'm gonna shake it honey. i'm gonna shake it my shake it. All right. So we are going to. All right, let's see what it looks like. Okay. So as you can see, it's kind of like a little, like a thicker jelly type of moment. Um. Not much of an odor, so that's cool. So let's go ahead, let's start on the pinky. That's kind of cool, it kind of brings the color back since we filed the way the top coat. It's had a generous amount, but like, how much? Like, I don't want that too much. But. I'm gonna put it on like a thick top coat. All right, so I'm gonna try to work a little faster so they can all be, you know, working at the same time. Um, I'm sure you don't. You could probably get away with not using the liquid latex, probably. However, you know, always follow the instructions that the manufacturer recommends. So they recommend the liquid latex, so I would definitely use it. You never know.
So I hope all of you are doing fabulous. It's raining currently, so that's nice. I was looking at my, um, my account for YouTube and, you know, we're getting close to 500 subscribers, so it's pretty exciting. You know, that's a milestone. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much to all of my amazing Diamond Cubs, my subscribers, everybody that has watched, commented. I mean, y'all can look back at my videos and just look at the amount of comments. Like, because, I, like I said, I love to talk um, and comment back and forth about the video, people giving tips, feedback, you know, or just chatting back and forth in the comments. So I love doing that. But like on my last video, I think I had like almost 200 something comments and just about that many views maybe. So, I mean, I really do encourage all my Diamond Cubs to comment. I'll always do my best to comment as fast as possible. Y'all know this is my little side hobby. So, um, I got other responsibilities that I gotta take care of during the day. And I like, and I do this on my spare time. So I really appreciate all the people that take the time and wait. So, all right, so this has all been applied. So right now, all right, so I'm gonna start timing it. It's already doing something. Like, look at this one. Like you can kind of, let me see if I can get it to focus. You see it starting to like, you know, more on this one, you can see it. See it's starting to do that bursting thing. Specifically like right there, here. It's happening a little on this one. This one, I see a little bubble starting about right here. So it's gonna burst soon. All right, so we're just wait a few minutes and I'll be back. All right guys, this quick update. We're at about two minutes. This is what we're looking like. And you see this one's starting to bubble up even more. You can see it lifted it, the polish right there. So um, these, I am doing this on top of uh, gel X tips. Uh, you know, I didn't want to, you know, cut them down and do all that. So I just wanted to see how it would react doing this on top of the tips. See if it will, you know, go as far down as to maybe even remove some of the tip, which would be awesome. But, you know, if it just gets rid of at least the um the polish and all that stuff then all i have to do is just do a quick soak off and call it a day but for those that um put this put gel polish on their natural nails or you know anything like that this would work great for that i'm not experiencing any discomfort i did apply the late liquid latex so you know take that but um just wanted to say I'm not experiencing any discomfort, no pain, no stinging, nothing. So that's great. So I'll be back in a minute um, and we'll see how this works. All right, my love. So this is after about five to six minutes. So we do see that there is bursting. I maybe didn't get enough of the base coat, I mean, of the top coat off. I mean, cause it is bursting, but look at the thumb. Yo, like it legit exploded the polish. That is so cool. But no pain, no discomfort, I haven't felt a thing. 
So it's pretty awesome. So also while I'm here, I just wanted to say the list price is $9.99 right now on Amazon. $6.99 right now on sale. I will provide the link in the description box um, so y'all can check it out. I did want to mention that it, they do mention that it is safe and effective. You don't have to so soak in harsh acetone or deal with oils and scraping. Um, that you can actually do this with nail glue, gel, shellac, glitter, dark colors, and even artificial nails without causing any damage. So that's pretty awesome. We're gonna check the how the you know the artificial nail situation works. Um, and it does say for extension gels, they do recommend removing the seal layer first. So that's why I'm thinking I maybe did really good on removing the top coat here, but over here maybe not as great, but we'll see. Um, so let's begin. I'm gonna go with the thumb just because this is the one that's like most burst. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start in the corner and just do a little can I get my big nail out the way? Okay. Oh my, look, it just flaked off. Oh wow, look, it literally just flakes off. So this product I think is great for people that wear gel nail polish and things like that on natural nails i think it is useful and look at that it actually did eat through it that's pretty cool um but i feel like if you're if you're wearing uh tips or if you're wearing a full cover gel I don't know, it might just be easier to soak in acetone. There was a lot of layers because I did have a base coat under there. I had a black coat that I put underneath um, the cat eye because I wanted a black background on the cat eye and I wanted a black background underneath the nails. So, I mean, it it's eating through all that. And getting to the nat, well, the nail extension. Ooh, all this stuff hanging. This one for sure went through all of it. And the extension does look at it does feel flimsier. So it definitely, it ate through some of the strength of the nail tip. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm just gonna snip these tips off to see how much is left. All right, so I cut the tips off. So this is what pretty much is left after the one coat and five minutes. Um, I think I did a great job. 
in terms of removing the gel polish, fantastic. Um, it did not, you know, go through. I told you, I have a lot of layers here. <laughs> you know, there's uh, the gel to adhere the Gel-X tip, then there's the Gel-X tip, then there's the base coat, then there's the black, then I had the cat eye, then I had the top coat. So there was a lot to get through. So just the fact that it got back down to the actual nail, Gel-X nail, is awesome. Um, on natural nails, like I said, if you just wear gel polish on a natural nail, this will work fantastic. All you would have to do is scrape off. And I mean, it did the work. It really did. So I'm um, just for experiment's sake, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead, apply another layer on these to see what happens. Um, and you know, I mean, if any, if nothing really happens, then I'll just go ahead and soak these off like I normally do. But, um, I just want to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply more. I still got, oh wait, I still got the liquid, la the liquid latex happening on my cuticles and around the edges but like I said look like right here this lifted up a bit so some of the actual product got on my skin I didn't feel any part any discomfort or anything but you know for sake of following instructions I would do it <laughs> but also you know this channel is for beginners, as I am a beginner. And beginners don't always follow instructions <laughs> in the best way. So, yeah. I'm trying to give the full Kiss Kiss beginner experience. This is a generous amount, so I'm just going to try to put that on. Let's see what happens. Alright. I'll be back, y'all. Alright, y'all. Here's the update. After about two or three minutes, we got some bubbling, especially on the thumb. Yeah, that's so crazy, right? It's so weird. It's like, eh. it's like a little bubble. <laughs> uh, Y'all can tell I'm one of those people that definitely likes to play with bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm like, you don't want to poke it. All right, so. You see, it's like scraping off layers of the actual um, gel X nail. So I do feel like if you give it enough time and like you keep applying, yeah, it'll work. But um, I feel like this product is great 
This product is amazing if you use gel nail polish or lacquer or any of those types of things on your natural nail. For removal of gel -X, I'm not sure. Um, I think I'm gonna end up just doing a silk off. But, you know, this is fabulous. Like I said, for removing um, gel nail polish without having to use a soak off method if you have natural nails. For nail enhancements, it does remove the polish. So if that's your goal, definitely. Um, and if you know, if you want to do this instead of having to do crazy amounts of like drilling to get to a low amount to do to your soak off, you can do that as well. So um, definitely, I recommend this. Check it out right now on Amazon. Uh, be back in one second. I'm gonna just get this cleaned up. All right, my love. So I just did a quick soak off. So I'm all off and everything. I definitely stand by this product. If I had gel polish directly on my nails, I'm sure this would have came out with this result. The only reason it didn't was because I had the gel X tips and all that extra stuff in between but this did a fantastic job at least at removing the gel polish from my tips as you saw they just bursted and it came right off like nothing so this is the born pretty functional gel magic gel remover definitely check this out available on Amazon and it comes in this beautiful box so definitely check this out y'all and thank you so much to born pretty of course for Sending this over to share with my lovely Diamond Cubs. I love y'all so much. Sending kisses to all of you. Pushing that positivity out to each and every single one of you. My long nails just hit the thing. My bad. So um, take care. I love y'all. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on those bell notifications. Don't forget to check the community tabs. And definitely check out this Born Pretty Magic Gel Remover. Love y'all.